Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to uh, work with ChatGPT Resolve and how this plugin can accelerate your job and affect your productivity. First of all it's free and open source. Just uh, follow this URL. You can find it on GitHub. Uh, let me show here. Here is the source code. A simple documentation, including some screenshots, anything you need, a video, uh, a demo video link here, etc. To use this, you have to install on your ID, install it on your ID. As you know, it's a Delphi package, it's a BPL. It's almost easiest type of components to load and install. Let's see how. Open the project. Get your clone or download the zip version of the project. Just uh, build. Install and done. Now you should see a new item here in main menu, including three um, sub menus here and ready to use. Before anything, first of all, you need an API key because this plugin will consume the API uh, which is provided by OpenAI. To use this, cons uh, to use and consume this API, you need a new API key, a personal API key, which can be created here. Just follow this URL. I will share this documentation. Um, but you have to create your personal API key. When you get your API key, you have to set it in. A setting for here. Insert just insert your API key here. Uh, there are some other preferences here that I will explain later, but you can find uh, feature information about these three uh, options here: model, max, or pet temperatures. These are different models of. Uh, processing processing the questions by OpenAI chat GPT uh, just but for now the important one is access key and base URL base URL has a default value you don't need to change it for now um, but it is editable in case in future you need to change it just into the access key and save and close um, let's close this project open a new visual application and just for your information those options in setting will be stored in this registry key you can find it here in case you want to add a new option, you can use this path. And I have to mention that uh, this plugin is compatible with Delphi X5 and later versions. It has been tested with X5, Berlin, and Alexandria. But it should work with Tokyo and others. Anyway, let's try to use that plugin. Mm, there are three ways to use this plugin. First, using the main form of plugin. Second one is back over form, and third one is inline questions. Let's try to use it. First, I will use the main form, which is a modal form. You can use it in full screen size. 
Uh, type your question here. There is a simple default question just for test. Yeah, you can type your question, any question here. Hit the button, ask button here, or press control enter as you can see in too deep. I will go with shortcut. It takes a bit of time, but it depends on the complexity of your question. Yes, here we go. This is our source code. Okay, second way is using the dockable form. Dockable form is more efficient in my opinion because I can drag and stick it here. Let's close this one to have more space. Yeah. Um, it is more efficient because it can be your permanent assistant as long as the ID is running. It can stay here. If you close this by mistake, you can open it again using same menu, sub menu. And let's ask here. There is a splitter in case you need more space. Yeah. And third one. Uh, is uh, actually the phenomenal ability of this plugin and the inline questions. If we check that setting form again, you can see there is an identifier option here, uh, which is the identifier used by plugin to recognize your question you have to type your question in the editor anywhere in the editor and surround your question with two identifiers on the left and right side uh, i will use cpt but you can change it cpt stands for chat gpt i'm comfortable with this let me open a new unit remove current lines just type cpt columns cpt and between them type your question. Let's use same question here. You have to select your questions including cpts and right click and use this context menu or use the shortcut. It will call the API with your question as a request, get the answer and we uh, will replace it with the selected lines here. This is a class. If you need a full unit, you can use CPT, TPT. You can ask a full, for a uh, full unit. Create full unit in every including a class to consume chat PPT API. more specific using what happened using t rest client component As I told before, this 
uh, this is going to okay here is the answer sometimes it needs more time sometimes less it depends on the complexity of your question okay here is the here is our new unit I can save it somewhere we have to save the full project I don't want it okay these are three ways to use this plugin and I have to mention something else as you know this uh, chat GPT AI can understand most alive languages in this planet so you can ask and get answers in your mother tongue probably in case you need this ability this plugin supports you the code and right to left um, direction you can change the direction uh, setting here right to left you can use right to left in case you want to ask in any language like Arabic, Persian or any right to left language and this checkbox call code formatter now, this is here because sometimes the result is not well formatted so I prefer to use that as your choice I prefer to use that and immediately format the received answer save and close and done thank you for watching please do not forget to like comment subscribe and good luck with your new smart assistants